This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the Aaron cell SLR8. This is the 8 inch that I had in the Honda that I'm taking out to see how everything is working in it. And I'll be doing some revisions over the winter. It came in just as I'm taking it apart. And what we're going to do is let's take this off here. You can see the cell. I still have water in here. take a look at that in just a second. What we're going to do is check out the the sensor, the water sensor that's in there and if you recall from the other videos what I did is I'm using a mono jack here that goes through that's it's plated with uh, gold. It's gold plated. It's a mono jack for a water sensor. And what I'm going to do is test it to see how it's still functioning. To do that, what I've got is the sensor coming out, going to a battery, and going to a solid state relay, which is then powering this meter. So right now you can see this is showing me the water level which is making the contact and I'm going to take the, some water out of here using a siphon tube to see if it's functioning, how it's functioning well. I'm going to put it in there now. And we're going to start siphoning it. Coming down to the sensor now. And as you can see, it seems to be working just fine. Okay. Alright, that's good news. And now what we're going to do is take that apart and check out the cell itself. Okay. Take a look at this, and basically it's got a little black on it, which I can understand that. It's been in lye for the whole summer. But other than that, everything seems to have stood up very well. Plates are in great condition. Again, some of the black on it. The top of the cell, I use stainless steel for these bolts or nuts. You can see there are three of them here. This is because this is the twin that you can turn on and off uh, different parts of the cell. 
you look really close, this is the two electrodes that turn off the different sections. And there's the top. These are intact really well. I had an email from somebody saying that I shouldn't be using the PVC pipe because it'll disintegrate or get soft under the heat of the hood. Uh, I haven't had any problem with mine whatsoever. And uh, the only problem I have had is I've glued the bottom of the pipe here and the glue I'm using sometimes doesn't hold up in the heat. I've also had some other emails from people saying some of their glue doesn't either. Well, that can be fixed very easily. But the tube itself, in, in a lot of the videos you'll see, the tube has been holding up great. Also, they mentioned that the plastic they had problem with. Uh, the plastic I'm using here, I haven't had any problem with whatsoever, and I've been watching it, and it's been in the summer's heat. Uh, these units here, if you've been watching my videos, there's a video there that shows me boiling these in water on the stove, and they don't even get soft. So, most of the email that I get in the negative side so far has shown me that the people haven't really been watching my videos. You can see this has been in the hood, the whole under the hood, the whole summer, and everything here looks pretty clean. The one thing I wasn't quite sure was the corks, and they've been holding up great, also. So all in all, uh, what I'm going to be doing this winter is taking this apart in doing a lot of redesign work, although I can see this cell arrangement here is working really well. All these electrodes here, including the plates, of course, are stainless steel. The plastic that goes through here, no problems whatsoever. This looks a little loose. Other than that, There's a few things I'd like to change, and that is the glue on the bottom. We'll see how that works out. As far as the plates go, you can see everything looks good. No warp plates, no nothing. The other thing I wanted to look at was these. You could call them struts or the side sections here, I wasn't quite sure. These are not stainless steel. I was going to use stainless steel. It cost a heck of a lot more. But these are chromium, I think, on the outside. I don't know what they come on, but they're covered with an alloy so that they don't rust, but they're not stainless steel. And obviously it works because there's no rust on this at all. Again, this was the unit that was in the Honda. And uh, what I'm going to do is pour this out and let you see the sensor. This is the inside of the tube. And you can see the sensor there. Looks all corroded and everything, but obviously it doesn't seem to hurt it. Everything is, seems to be intact. The inside of the tube is mildly dark. This has been running on lye and distilled water. There's a good view of the sensor. might come might uh, work on some other type of sensor I don't know this one seems to be working pretty well also it's tight the glue is held I'm using goop plumbers goop G-O-O-P I don't usually like to use name brands but that's what I've been using here
There you go.